H2K Infosys provides world-class online IT training, staffing and software testing solutions to customers worldwide. H2K Infosys supports 100% job-oriented training, hands-on project work, cloud test lab, resume preparation and review, mock interviews, robust syllabus, one-time pay, lifetime access to live classes and videos. H2K Infosys has won the trust of thousands of students worldwide. For free demo class, visit h2kinfosys.com. Uh, welcome to H2K Infosys uh, training. So this session we are going to learn about how Selenium uh, training is there with H2K Infosys as well as what are the contents of the Selenium course, how we are going to present the Selenium, what are the uh, what is the language we are going to learn, how we are going to use that in Selenium web driver, all that information. So this is basically a brief uh, introductory session about uh, the Selenium training with H2K Infosys. Okay, so as we know, Selenium is just not one tool. It is a collection of tools like Selenium WebDriver, Selenium IDE and Grid. So this course uh, covers all the tools of the uh, Selenium and we start with Selenium IDE and then we learn Selenium WebDriver and uh, Selenium Grid as well. So our concentration on this course mainly will be on Selenium WebDriver where we can do enterprise application automation using different languages. Selenium WebDriver supports multiple languages for the programming. So you can actually code your Selenium programs using any of these supported languages. However, this course primarily uh, developed for Java programming. So we're going to learn Java, so you don't need to be an expert or you don't need to be any programmer to learn or to join this course. We are going to learn Java. So Java core Java we are going to learn with respect to what is the um, requirement for a Selenium automation. So that way we are going to learn all the concepts of Java and then we learn Selenium WebDriver as well as other tools as part of this course. Let me briefly explain you uh, what are the contents of Java as well as what are the contents of other Selenium topics which we are going to learn as part of this course. So first one is if you see the Java, so basically we start with Java basics here. So in this we are going to cover from introduction to um, arrays, uh, variables, types of variables, even arrays, object oriented programming and different uh, features as well as um, of object oriented programming how do we apply in our a java language like method overloading constructor overloading access modifiers as well as abstraction interfaces and other concepts like java strings exception handling collections framework java ivo how do we handle files using java ivo and also how do we handle date and time so this course predominantly covers all the core java and which are basics which we require for uh, Selenium WebDriver programming, okay? And in the Selenium WebDriver programming, we are going to learn from scratch Selenium WebDriver. So in this, we are going to see how Selenium works on the uh, browsers for different uh, browsers as well as the how it works on the uh, for the automation. And then we are also going to see what all the each feature of Selenium WebDriver and we are going to learn each and every concept of Selenium WebDriver as part of this course. If you see, we start with introduction and then we learn about what is WebDriver, uh, what is this WebDriver interface, web element interface, as well as what is document object model and also how do we identify uh, web objects or web elements on page using different identification mechanisms where we will be learning about uh, different standard identification mechanisms and even CSS selector as well as the XPath selector as well. So also we are going to see the different methods we do have for web elements and how do we handle frames, keyboard mouse actions, alerts, multiple browsers. So all the features of the Selenium web driver will be covered as part of this course. Okay, and that the basics. And then we jump into TestNG as well. So where we cover what is TestNG? What is the use of TestNG? How do we really uh, use or develop um, 
Selenium for uh, using TestNG, Selenium automation scripts using TestNG, how do we run them, okay? And also how do we run even without uh, Eclipse, like command prompt. So all that information as well, we are going to learn as part of this course. And apart from that, we will also learn about the Selenium advanced concepts too, something like, uh, okay. something like page objects model okay um, page object model as well as apache py how do we really have uh, input data source as excel and how do we really have input data source as a db as well where we could use jdbc to connect to databases okay and then even uh, logging in selenium how does logging work file uploading selenium grid and how do we use maven okay and jenkins as well as cucumber with selenium and github and also we discuss about the automation framework what is an automation framework how it is used and also we are going to develop a sample framework with the whatever be the learnings we have gone through in this course okay so this course is predominantly designed for the people who does not have any programming background or any automation background of course who already have the little background of the programming that will be easy for them and helpful however people who does not have any programming background as well as any automation background also can join this because we start everything from the scratch okay so this is the opportunity for people who ever want to move from manual testing to automation testing easily and we do a little bit of um, easy way of doing things here like we create different exercises and different uh, programs and different features of the selenium everything we discuss and also everything will be shared with the uh, participants of the course so there is nothing secret here the documents whatever we are actually going through like java documentation as well as selenium documentation and test ng so everything will be shared with the people we also actually go to a lot of exercises as part of this course and we'll be learning about all the features like advanced features like logging uh, in uh, using a logging api like um, uh, cucumber with selenium so all of those will be part of this course and one we can say that confidently once you complete this course you are able to create any automation script by yourself okay so that is the aim of this course and usually it transfer um, 50 to 60 years depends on the uh, speed and normally depends on the participants we go and this course actually is a online course and it will be five days a week usually okay so monday to friday est timings okay so that's all about this course and uh, the, the documentation and whatever we are going to see here for example it will be shared with you guys once you join it contains actually all the uh, references whatever we need and quick references to the top topics what we discussed as well as what are all the uh, contents we are going to teach as part of this course everything will be part of this okay and also we are going to learn uh, different concepts using sample projects so whatever be the simple simple projects we have so that way it will be easy so and it's not a project course as such so uh, it's not uh, for the people who want to join the project and who also know the selenium no this course is basically for the people who want to learn selenium whether you have little bit programming background or you do not have any programming background okay because we are going to start programming also from the uh, scratch so that way who does not have any programming background or any exposure to programming also can join and learn from this course okay so and we know that selenium can be supported by multiple languages i already told but this course purely covers only java as the programming language and people who are looking with other languages like python or um, c sharp and all no this is not the course for you guys this is purely uh, ui automation course it's only for selenium and there is no api testing which will be covered as part of this course okay so that's it about this course if you are really interested get in touch with us and thank you